we're back in my truck. So it's a Sunday and I just got a call here to go ahead and see what's up with this. Uh, I think it's an Airbnb place or whatever. Uh, so basically the heater is not heating. They say it's just blowing cold air. So yeah, I'm on call. So I got to go all the way. Uh, it's about a 30 minute drive and we need to go ahead and see if we can fix that thing. So I believe it is a heat pump. Uh, so we'll find out when we get there. So here we go. Okay, so the thermostat will go off on, say, lack of power, and then it'll come back on, and then it will go into waiting for equipment. It'll call for heat. It'll happen again. Heat never comes on. Um, I've turned it off. And I've cycled things manually and I've just keep burning up fuses. So uh, we have a either a high load or a short. So we're going to go ahead and just do a quick short check. Okay, that's expected. That's expected. Okay, so I shouldn't have any continuity to ground between heat, which is electric auxiliary heat. No. And fan, no. This will, because it runs through the common. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if this is an over -amp situation. So I got my little popper on here. So let's give this a shot. Okay, so we have R to G, cycling fan. And we're checking amp draw on our R terminal which in this case is our little popper. So 0.24, it's supposed to be five amps, or no more than five amps, so far so good. Okay, I'm gonna call for the outdoor unit. So that would be R, G, and Y. Fan speeding up. I feel refrigerant. Auxiliary heat. We're pulling eight amps. So that's that's our culprit. Alright, so there's something up with the auxiliary heat. So we need to go ahead and check these contactors and see if maybe we have an issue. Oh wait a minute. That. Look at that contactor coil, it's melted. That's a problem. So I think I found the culprit. Um, this is super crazy loose. I'm gonna cut it off, put a new end on it. But this could have caused that coil to go bad. Yeah, I'm loving this little, little ratchet. Usually I keep this old Valco bit that I never use because it's short and it's great for getting into those tight places and then if I need a little longer one I can use my foot bit, my long one. I just take off the other sizes. Anyway, it's in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this all back together. We'll try to cycle heat, uh, auxiliary heat, and see what happens. Okay, so if we look at this we can see that the coil itself is shorted to itself so that has reduced the amount of turns which causes um, high amp draw. You can see here it's actually 0.8, so it's actually low because these things are usually like 17 to 20 ohms. Uh, but we're only measuring like part of it because it's shorted to the end too early. So that's our issue. Anyway, let's go ahead and try to cycle auxiliary heat and see what happens. Okay, so we got the fan running, we got 0.22. We're gonna go ahead and cycle. Uh, heat now. Okay. Doctor's clothes, we're at 0.7. We're going to go ahead and take it off. Sweet. So what I want to do is I want to cycle heat pump, auxiliary heat, and fan at the same time. So I'm going to change this up so I can do that. Okay, so I got heat pump, fan, auxiliary heat, everything. Put 0.7, so. We'll pop a new fuse in there and we'll call her good. 
So anyway, uh, if you ever get a thermostat that's just constantly restarting, usually that means there's a short, but it's re it's killing the, the control signal before it has a chance to pop the fuse. So that's usually an indication you have some kind of low voltage uh, short or some kind of high amp draw situation on the control system. So anyway, uh, hopefully this helps you out. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you like the tools I use or you like my work socks, uh, pick up some work socks from Camel City Mill uh, and pick up some tools from my Amazon store. And uh, yeah, you'll, you'll be seeing me wear this quite a bit because I love it. And uh, we're in the works for a video, so keep on watching make sure you subscribe to see what's up thanks for watching